Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new episode of the podcast. This is going to be a little bonus episode that I wanted to um, do and wanted to film and wanted to kind of produce for you uh, because I had a conversation. I'm going to give you a little bit of a premise of uh, what we're going to talk about today but also I'm going to um, you know jump in and kind of explain briefly why or mainly why the this podcast or this solo episode is actually going to exist because um as you may have seen from the channel, and as you may have known, and as you may be aware of, we've done a lot of uh, interview-based stuff, which is all good and all exciting and all valuable, I think. But personally, for me, I've gone through, in the last, say, month to two, um, I've gone through some pretty significant mindset changes. And the main reason for this has been a multiple different factors, but it's something that I wanted to touch on and something I think that could be very, very valuable to those of you who are thinking about going into business um, or are in business at the moment and uh, are possibly being forced into a different way of life or different, uh, you know, decision because of everything going on in the world at the moment. But um, if I'm honest, I'm not 100% sure when this episode is going to come out, but this is just to give some context. Um, this is currently the 2nd of August 2020, and I've just also recorded the third episode of Samit's podcast with him this morning as well. Um, and uh, we had a very nice chat, and um, you know, those who don't know that uh, I am also running a podcast with him, why well, it's his podcast, but I'm helping produce it, um, I will leave his YouTube channel in the description down below, those who are interested but uh yeah so that's not what mainly what we're going to talk about today but some of the bits i wanted to talk about today was some of the things that i actually touched on with him um in a in a call specifically now i'm not 100 percent sure um how long this episode is going to be but i hope it's going to still add value to you so let's um you know let's jump into it and i'm also going to go into a couple of things that i have sort of optimized as well in regards to content uh, moving forward so the main thing I really wanted to talk to uh, you guys about today and really wanted to share was that, um, you know, for, for for a good year to two to three to four, um, I spent all time, all my time working, right? And, uh, you know, I was all about the hustle. I'm still, I'm still all about the hustle, but, um, you know, I've taken a very different approach since, say, I would say the last month um, about what my, where my priorities are and, and, and that kind of thing. And my priorities are still with, with business and still growing the brand and still growing the business. But it's kind of also, um, in some ways, I've taken my foot off the pedal a little bit, but in some ways, I've also put my foot down. Now, let me do you to pat that because that probably won't necessarily make um you know as much sense as uh it, I, it hopefully will after i explain so before um you know when i was doing my part-time and and etc like that you know i was like right how many hours can i squeeze into working today right okay i've got 12 hours right let's work 12 hours right and that can be good but what i find is at the moment i'm you can get pushed a bit creatively and you can, um, you know, get close to burnout and you can get close to those things. And yeah, you should push it sometimes, but I think it's very important for you to listen to your body and be able to be aware of when your body is telling you, look, um, I know you want to do this thing and I know this is really important to you, but right now, if you do this, we're going to be really unwell um, or it's not going to be great. Um, so, so, you know, something that I found is, um, and something that the pandemic kind of highlighted to me a lot more so, and something that I've been really, you know, um, wanting to kind of make myself personally better with and personally better at dealing with and personally, um, you know, just better in general is, is really understanding and really understanding and really thinking about firstly, who, who, who is really important to me, right? So whether that's your family, whether that's your friends, whether that's your significant other, whether that's your partner, whether it's, you know, that kind of thing, right? Um, also, then you need to, well, I've been thinking about anyway, you know, where do I want to be physically? Where do I want to be mentally, right? And how do I, am I, am I really doing um, myself justice by working all these hours and doing all this thing and working hard and doing all this um, for those other aspects of my life, right? And, Personally, I've found that it's been very interesting because, you know, from when when I was starting Brunner Media and when I really, really began to, you know, really start gaining momentum, I was like, right, I gotta, I gotta, 
hunt for clients, hunt, 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 hustle, 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 right, I've got to, I've got to try and, you know, balance everything, I've got to try and do 50,000 things at once, and, that, you know, that's not necessarily, you know, wrong, and that's not, I still do 50,000 things at once, but what I've personally found in my experience as I've kind of gone through the process of um, growth and process of development, personally and professionally, that um, sometimes that not is necessarily the best way uh, to go about getting work and achieving work. Um, so, you know, for me, it's one of those things where at the moment when the pandemic hit, I really reset all of my value uh, kind of counters with businesses because I was like, well, you know, they're probably not going to have budgets. They're going to be looking at if they do have budget, it's going to be a smaller budget or you know, etc. And it's going to be a harder, it's going to be a hard time for everyone financially. So, you know, what can I do with my skill set to really help, you know, Salisbury and, and, and my clients to, to be able to survive this, to be honest. Um, uh, so I was like, okay, so, you know, I could use the term of value counter and you, you know, and some people might say, oh, you're just doing this because you want work in the future. Well, part of me is like, yeah, of course, but also, you know, I, I, want to help these businesses genuinely so you know i've done a few things that uh you know thought about how can i add value to the businesses you know it could be anything from just checking in on them and seeing how they are and seeing how the real people are who actually run the businesses um but also you know what value can i add to them practically right so i uh, just give some context to those who may not know the around uh around this i want to say a month ago i relaunched the showcase series now the showcase series was originally a way for me to kind of introduce myself to businesses of Salisbury and um you know people who were possibly going to be potential clients of mine or or not um you know in that respect as well but also to kind of highlight my skills but also to highlight why they're special why they're you know um good at what they do right so so that's kind of what the series is and now as i've done the series more it's given me more and more ideas to you know kind of branch out the series and build it to be this bigger community effort you know it's not necessarily going to be just around salisbury i don't think anymore i think it's going to be more about you know just highlighting businesses that are important to me um or i see value in you know helping or or i want to help in that respect so i think that's going to be the main thing and um you know, I think that the people who are going to be able to grow through this, are going to be, you know, quote unquote, more successful or able to continue to do what they do, uh, are going to be those people who go the extra mile, are going to be those people who take those extra steps, are going to be those people who are willing to take a hit now to, you know, really iron out what you do firstly because it gives you great practice in in your craft in in my case videography but in in you know in any case um to you know really just practice your craft in general but also to really build those relationships and keep those relationships that you may have with business owners so when it comes to them having a budget to do something they're going to be or you're going to be their first port of call um you know i would hope anyway so so that's the kind of like showcase series and that's one of the things I wanted to touch on today. But um, I briefly mentioned in the start about, you know, my priorities overall because I found I'm actually working not, I'm still working a lot, but I'm not working as crazy um, of hours wise, right? And, but I think, I don't know whether whether others would agree, but personally for me, I have found that my quality of work overall is actually becoming better since I've made this change. Um, so for me personally, I've kind of prioritized, there's like four main pillars for me that I prioritized during this pandemic and during, I think, moving forward as well, which I think has allowed me to really um, focus in on those. And I kind of focus in on less on everything else. So if it's not one of these four pillars or couldn't be something related to some of these four pillars, then it's not necessarily going to have much of my attention for very long. So the first pillar for me is my own personal and physical health. So they're two, they're two the two main pillars for me and they um, are very very important for me um, my mental health and my physical health now they go hand in hand because I need to make sure I can love me and look after me and make sure I'm fine 
um, if I'm ever going to look after anyone else or try to look after anyone else or anyone else's business or, you know, any of my family specifically. So, you know, that's why I've been consistently running and, and trying to be consistently running. And I've I've tried to strive towards a goal that, um, you know, I've had for a very, very, very long time. You know, from, from as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to run a distance of a marathon. Um, and I'm I'm now, you know, closing in on that goal. You know, um, at the time of filming, I yesterday I, I ran my first 15K. Um, that wasn't something which I thought I would be able to do if you had said to me, you know, a year ago or, or et cetera. So, so, you know, it's the little wins in, the, in that respect as well. But it also, you know, the kind of mental health and the um, kind of physical health kind of go hand in hand. But also it's about, I think for me, understanding when I've done enough work and when I need to push and what days I can push and what days can't I push, right? So, um, you know, I'll give you an example. On heavy work days like today, for example, um, when I'm a client needs me to be up early to film podcasts, for example, I'm try- going to try and fill that day with as much as work as possible. So then I can f- afford or, or look to or, you know, plan to um, have days that are either a lot slower or to complete days off. Um, and this will give my time my, me to mentally rest, but also physically rest as well, because it means I'm not going to be necessarily thinking about the business as um, a core um, I'm not going to be thinking about content. It will give me kind of a breather to um, also kind of enjoy time that I could spend with my friends. Um, you know, those who don't know, my background is in game development, so I'm a gamer at heart. And that's what I that's what I enjoy doing. That's what I like doing. So you know, that's something which I have always valued and always wanted to do. Um, you know, so me balancing my time has always been difficult and always been something which I've struggled with to do things I'm passionate about but also things I enjoy because when you do what you love for a living you uh, enjoy it and it can become addictive and and you know and there's a an extra point which I'll add on soon um about that as well but there's a lot of reasons a lot of benefits for doing that but you know for me I've been able to sort of um take that time and sort of spend um some of that time with some of my closer gaming friends and um you know that's allowed me to really reconnect with them and really have i think a stronger bond with them which has been lovely um and you know the main reason why i do that and i'll come on to my fourth pillar uh, very very soon but i just want to sort of touch on a couple of things first um is going to be that you know a lot of the time we we you know look at life as a kind of i'll do that tomorrow right i will i'll say i'll say to that person that i really like them or i or i you know want to spend more time with them or whatever um you know uh, i'll do that tomorrow because they're going to be here tomorrow but something which i have done for i want to say six to eight months now um and something which i have been getting more fulfillment from and becoming more physically and mentally happier um you can't be physically happy but you you know what i mean um you know is is that when you don't live with regret at all and when you you know when you you need to think about it from the perspective of if this person died tomorrow was there anything i wish i had said right or wish i had done or wish i had done this or this or that and do i have memories with those people right that i can then relive their existence through and what is their legacy and and you know this is something which tommy talked about in his podcast that i was editing earlier today but um you know you're not necessarily going to be able to live life to the fullest if you don't understand or you haven't seen how possible even whether that's a psychological like nightmarish situation or whether that's in reality where you do unfortunately lose someone you know you obviously it's not the same but you can obviously feel that and see that and to to a dream feels real right and a nightmare feels real right and there's been nightmare times where people i love have possibly died or didn't thank touch wood at the moment everyone's fine right and everyone will hopefully continue to be fine but you know and and this brings me nicely onto my fourth pillar which is you know understanding who is important to you and who you care about Right now, I use this as like family and friends, but it's like more just prioritizing um, them over everything else. Right. And something which I took from, I think it was Jez's podcast. 
who I listened to the other day. Um, and, um, you know, I'm throwing a lot of names around here. So if you have any questions on who these people actually are, feel free to drop a comment and I'll uh, briefly explain who they are to me and, and, and how I know them in that respect as well. But something which, um, you know, I, I listened to, to in Jez's podcast yesterday was that, that kind of hit me was or, or really touched base with me was obviously his story about his mom. I won't spoil it if you want to listen to um, the podcast. But um, it's definitely a story about his mum, but also the fact that he schedules his life around his family and his friends first, and then he does business, not now anyway, um, and then he schedules everything else around it, like business and, 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 and etc. right? So, you know, he spends his life scheduling his health, his mental health, his physical health, and then his family and friends around everything else he does with business, right? Now, of course, he has the luxury to be able to do that because he's lucky enough to be able to own his own businesses and and they're you know obviously profitable but he's obviously worked for those right so it's one of those things where once you have that mindset change and that kind of clicks um you kind of are in a situation where it's very uplifting and i think you'll find that you'll be a lot happier right and 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 as long as you do everything in moderation, I think you'll be overall a lot more happier, right? Like, because I'm looking at it from a business perspective and I'm actually creating probably more content than I have ever created in my life, right? Between what I'm doing with clients and what I'm doing with, you know, uh, the things that are coming and what I'm doing on my own socials and my own channels and my own, you know, I think that I'm doing, I hope anyway, I'm doing a lot of value adding and I'm, I, I hope I'm helping uh, you know even if I help one person with every piece of content I make you know that's 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 valuable to me right and that's important to me and I uh, you know I think that personally that it's important to understand who who and what is important to you um you know and that's something which the pandemic has taught me more than anything else and and you know that's why like people would say oh can we redo 2020 or can we redo this can we do that and I'm and I'm saying saying no I don't want to because for me, I am extremely proud of what I've done in uh, during during my, you know between April and or March and you know April March up till now, and also what I'm going to do the rest of the year, right? Now, of course, I haven't been directly affected by COVID, but I've been financially affected, right? You know, I'm I've you know I've I've lost probably thousands of pounds worth of possible revenue, but that doesn't matter, right? Because the reality of the fact is, no one in my family or friends have died, right? That's that's the reality of the fact, right? Now, I'm not going to get into the debate of, you know, how serious is it or not, right? Or could it have been managed better or etc. I'm not going to get into those debates, right? Because right now, that's not the kind of content I want to create. That's not the kind of conversations I want to have. I want to have, personally, I think there's enough negativity in the world. And if you want to look for those conversations, you can find them, right? They're everywhere. So something which I don't think there's enough of is, you know, showcasing why people are amazing. Showcasing why people can be compassionate. Showing why people are human right why people are able to do wonderful things why people are doing wonderful things why there's so many people who are so selfless that they do things just because they want to make the world a better place right and and, and a motto that i've lived by for a long time is you should be the change you want in the world right that doesn't mean lobby governments or that doesn't mean going to politics that's what, if that's what you want to do go for it right but if that's not necessarily the only way to change the world that is a way right uh, of course that's a harder way in my opinion but you know there's other ways you can do it right like through wh what are your actions that you do right because i think you'll change the world your own world your own small part of the world you'll change through your actions right so make sure that those actions are what you want right so if you want there to be more positivity in the world if you want there to be more people who love what they do and get fired up by every day and get passionately excited about whatever it is right if you have a passion and you love to create chairs create chairs make it profitable make it work work harder to make it work right or work smarter to make it work right like in my case oh i love making videos i love creating content okay so how can i make this profitable how can i make money so i can do it right how do i make it feasible for me to do okay well, let's look at that let's learn from that let's look at that and let's and let's see right but the but the thing that a lot of people don't get is there's a lot of sacrifices you have to make at the start to be able to do that right but it is very rewarding but there gets to a tipping point where Yes, you've done it for years, and yes, you can get in habits of doing it for years, 
But you also need to then understand that where your priorities are going to change as you grow older. And as you get older and more experienced, you will have different priorities. And personally, what I've found is I'm actually doing less work for clients, but I'm having I'm enjoying it more because the clients I'm working with now are ones that I connect with more right that I can work with more that I can help with more and it's not even about making money most of the time because yeah of course I have some bigger clients now than I had say a year ago or two years ago but that's great that means I'm making progression right but that doesn't necessarily correlate in the respect to that has to be the case right some of the time I see potential in businesses or I see potential in in people and because I want to help them and because I think that we could work well together in the future I will take smaller budgets or I will help them use smaller budgets or even budgets which I feel are too small at times, right? But that's because I'm thinking longer term. I think that's because I'm thinking bigger picture, right? So for me, I've had, you know, this kind of, it's not like a recollection in any way, but it's it's this kind of understanding of like now what's really important to me and what's truly important to me and what really matters to me because you know covid as i said it 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 hit me hard in march but the the you know the main reason why i've changed a lot of my uh, the aspects of my life during you know february going full time and then and then through to march and then through into april and then through into today um you know has been really prioritizing the people i truly care about and the people who i want to be around and you know the people who fill me with happiness and are with me when i feel crap they're we're with me when i feel shit they're with me when i want to quit they're with me because they want to pull me up when i'm down and they want to in some ways pull me down when I'm up because they want me to be as balanced as possible but they also want me to be happy as possible and you know if you're one of those people who has has sent me a message or has you know thanked me for everything I do I th- thank you so much for for supporting me and and you know doing and uh, allowing me to do what 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 I do right because the reality of the fact is if it wasn't for this community or or the community that i'm building or the community i have built depending on how you want to look at it you know i wouldn't be able to do what i do i wouldn't because the reality of the fact is the majority of the time i'm sat here creating content i'm passionate about creating content that i love creating content that i find enjoyable to create and some of the time it goes a bit off some of the time it goes a bit weird some of the times it doesn't go well some of the times are mistakes like you know the time recording there is um, a video going live on wednesday next week that's literally we had to reshoot the entire video because it didn't go well the first time but that's fine you learn you live and you grow right and that's what happens sometimes but i think it's very important for those who are looking to start anything to ask yourself why are you doing it right to make sure that you really understand why you're doing something instead of just doing something because I think you won't, you won't, well, firstly, you won't st- stick at it when it's hard, one, two, but also you won't get the same fulfillment from something which you don't really understand the reason why you're doing something or really truly understand the reason why you're doing something. But, you know, also something that I wanted to cover briefly was don't hold grudges, right? Like, I've had a situation lately which has really showed me how much I've grown personally um and you know i won't i won't go into the details of it at the moment because i don't know whether the other parties involved want me to or or are okay with me going into it but um you know i also think it should be uh, in some ways that that entire situation should stay private but for me you know um it's been interesting because i i have seen some competitors of mine you know go and come and i've seen seen others go and come and i've seen others start and stop and and etc and you know that that's that's not me to judge that's not my place to judge that's that they have what they did what they felt was right for their life and their priorities at the time i'm sure but you know for me someone who has wronged me or someone who has you know um what i feel is 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 wronged me they 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 may not feel the same or they may not have felt the same but um you know for me i'm trying to continually move forward and not hold those grudges right like if there was a problem right either talk it out with someone or just put it water under the bridge and move on right there's no point holding on to grudges from months or years ago saying well oh you did such and such because 
it's not going to be beneficial for you. It's not going to, you're going to have this constant chip on your shoulder or constant weight on your shoulders because you constantly need to remind that person all the time of, oh, this is why, you know, we don't like you or whatever, right? And uh, fair enough, right? If if you don't want to be best friends with them, don't be best friends with them, right? But that doesn't mean you don't, that doesn't mean you don't want to be civil or don't want to support them or don't want to try and do this and don't want to still give them a nudge where you can and, you know, still, still, you know, if you think they've got potential and they think they're good at what they do or could be good at what they do, then, then you know, support that. Because the more people who are doing what they love and doing what they truly, truly, truly want to do, I think the better the world will be. And that's, I think, what should be your North Star. And I think that's what should be your goal. And that's what should be. And I think you'll find you'll be a lot lighter. You'll you'll feel a lot happier, a lot easier once you do that. Because you won't, as I say, have all these kind of chips on the shoulder. Oh, that guy doesn't like me because of X. Or I don't like him because of this and that and this and that. Right? People make mistakes every day. I make mistakes every day. Right? Things I do maybe mistakes things maybe do that i think that are good right now maybe terrible in like two months or two days or two minutes right but we're human that's what we do right humans are complicated and one of the best compassionate things that i know humans can do is forgive right so be that compassionate human being be that person who forgives be that better person right even if you sh- shouldn't say sorry or even if you shouldn't f- or you don't feel that you've done wrong have that conversation to understand from the other side how it came across and how it actually you know how you got into that situation before because i think you'll learn something about yourself right in that so you know and that's going to wrap up i think today's episode i don't want this one to drag too long and i do you know want um to put out some more interview content for you guys and girls who are enjoying that content i have some wonderful guests coming on in the next couple of weeks on the podcast um it's going to be great fun to talk to them um i mean they're already recorded i'll be honest with you they're already recorded but i can't wait to share to be honest with you um what's going to be happening um with brunner media and also uh the podcast content as well and i've got so many big announcements to come and so many big things coming and i'm and i'm so grateful and so fulfilled with with everything that's happening right now and um you know in a time where things are not meant to be necessarily or they're meant to be very difficult or they're meant to be very challenging you really understand you can really see and really uh feel the love and feel the people who are true to what they say and true to truly supporting you through thick and thin and truly understand that they truly do love you for who you are and that it's not about what they could necessarily gain um about why they support you and they support you because they want to support you and not because they want to gain something from you right um so honestly guys i i really really appreciate the support and i know i say it a lot but you know I don't want to ever be in a situation where I take that for granted because for me, it's still a dream and it's still, you know, a wonderful position to be in, to have this platform, to be able to talk about issues which are important to me and also hopefully give others a platform to talk about issues important to them and have that kind and have those difficult conversations sometimes but thank you so much for getting to this point in the podcast this week um i will uh, leave it off here but um if you did enjoy this video and you took some value from it um i would love to hear what you think in the comment section down below and uh, if you are new to this channel and this is the first video that you are seeing then please 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 subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy this content because there is a lot more to come and i cannot wait to um, announce what is next next and the next steps i'll be making um in the next coming months and weeks but uh thank you so much for watching and getting to this point in this video and uh, i'm gonna let you go and hopefully enjoy some more of my content or some other content from some other wonderful creators um here on youtube or here on facebook depending on where you're listening to this podcast but thank you so much for listening once again i'll see you next week with a brand new episode probably with an interview um i'm not 100 sure who yet because i haven't decided when i'm going to release this one but uh thank Thank you so much for joining me once again and have a wonderful day, evening or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you very, very soon.